Tiger Mara from Tumivara got out of his bed one day, dressed himself, brushed his chops, and to his mother he did say, Mother, I'm off to Galway to see the sea and to make my fortune. Mahan far Tiger Nagra, she said. Good man, Tiger. She packed him some lunch and wrapped it in a cloth napkin, tied it to a stick, and he put that stick upon his shoulder, and away he went to Galway. As he was walking down the road, Tig met his friend Bo the Cow, and Bo the Cow said, Tig O'Mara from Tumivara, where are you going today? He said, I'm going to Galway to see the sea and to seek my fortune. Tig, before you leave Tipperary, if you're going to Galway, you have to go to the forest of Quilla and Trouble. They say the place is huge and scary and full of trouble. I'll be okay. I'll go with you. The cow jumped in behind the boy. Away they went to Galway. They went up the hill, down again, round bushes and rushes, and over the glen. They were walking along. They were singing a song. Do you know who they met coming along? They met Sive the Sow. And Sive the Sow said, Where are you going, Tyke? Where are you going with Bo the Cow? We're going to Galway. We're going to go over to see the sea, and I'm going to seek my fortune. <coughs> oh, I'll go with you. If you're going to Galway, before you leave Tip, you'll have to go through the forest of Quilla and Trouble. They say it's big and scary and full of trouble. I'll have to go with you. The sow jumped in behind the cow, the cow jumped in behind the boy, away they went to Galway. They went up the hill, down again, through bushes and rushes and over the glen. They were walking along, they were singing a song. And then they saw the cat chasing the rat. The cat and the rat, they skidded to a halt when they saw Tiger Mara from Tumivara. And they said, Tiger Mara from Tumivara, where are you going today? He said, I'm going to Galway with sow and cow. We're going to go to see the sea and we're going to seek my fortune. You're going to go to Galway before you leave Tip, said the cat and the rat. You have to go to the forest of Quilla Undrable. It's big and scary and full of trouble. We better go with you. So the rat jumped in behind the cat. The cat jumped in behind the sow. The sow jumped in behind the cow. The cow jumped in behind the boy. And away they went to Galway. They went up the hill, down again, through bushes and rushes and over the glen. They were walking along, they were singing a song. And that's when they came to the forest of Quilla and Trouble. And it looked so big and scary and full of trouble. The sky had darkened. The wind began to howl through the trees as they entered the forest, the forest of Quilla and Trouble. And they could hear in the distance, In the middle of the forest, it was so dark, but they saw ahead of them, they saw the lights of a house. And when they got to the house, Tyke said, Do you know what we're going to do, lads? I'm going to knock on the door, and maybe the people will let us stay the night, and maybe we'll have a nice warm bed. He went up, and he knocked on the door. There's no answer, lads. I'd better have a look through the window. After knocking again, he looked through the window. The house he could see through the window. It was filled with treasures. There were sacks of gold. There were pots of precious jewels. He said, wow, the people who live here, gang, they must be really rich. They must have gone away in an emergency. Do you know what we better do? We better go in and mind the house for them. When they come tomorrow, they might give us some pay. They walked into the house. But what Tig and the animals didn't know was, the house belonged to the Goddy Moor, the great thief of Ireland. And at that very moment, he was coming home from Galway. He'd been up there with the Gombeans trying to rob people. He'd had no luck, and he was in a bad mood. Tig and his friends were in the house going, this is the best place ever. They walked into the Goddy Moore's bedroom. And Tig said, what a lovely feather bed. Gang, I'm going to jump into it. You lot, have a little sleep on the floor. Tig O'Mara from Tumivara, he jumped into the robber's bed. He fell straight asleep. He was so tired from his journey. And as he fell asleep, <laughs> the little animals, 
they crept up onto the bed beside him. There was the cow, the sow, the cat and the rat all curled up on the bed. In the middle of the night, the gaudy moor, the great thief of Ireland, arrived at his house. And when he opened the door, he heard the sound of Tyg snoring in the bedroom. He had a big bottom or a big stick in his hand and he said, Hey, there's someone inside in my bedroom. Somebody has come to the great thief of Ireland's house. I spread a rumour that the forest of Quilla and Dribble was full of trouble to keep people out and now there's someone in my bedroom. He crept up to the bedroom door as the door squeaked open. The rat heard it and the cat and the sow and the cow they opened their eyes and they looked at each other they saw the shadow of the great goddy moor coming into the room and they went like this to each other they crept behind the door and the rat jumped up on top of the cat the cat jumped up on top of the sow the sow jumped up on top of the cow and they hid behind the door looking out like this as the great goddy moor walked into the room with his bottom moor raised up he had his big stick and he saw Tyg in the bed. Then he heard voices behind him that said, uh, Excuse us, Goddy Moore. And he turned, Bam! They jumped at him. The cat, the rat, the cow and the sow, they jumped onto the great Goddy Moore. The rat ran up the leg of his trousers and bit him on the knee. The cat leaped onto his head and scratched his hair. And the cow went, cow power, boom. The sow chased after him with a mighty grunt <coughs> and butted him on the backside. <coughs> and the goddy moor flew out the door and all the way to Galway. Do you know what, lads? The goddy moor said to the gombeans of Galway. I spread a rumour that the forest of Hulla and Dribble was full of trouble. But I tell you it was. I went back to my house. I went inside and there was a big monster. Oh, it had sharp teeth and big hooves and it scratched me and it bit me on the knee, butted me on the backside and sent me flying out the window. I'm never going back to my secret hideout in the forest of Hulla and Dribble again. Meanwhile, back at the house, the animals jumped back onto the bed and fell asleep beside Ty, who heard nothing. And when he woke up in the morning, they told him about the Goddy Moor and how they chased him away. Oh, says Tig O'Mara from Tumi Vara, you're the best friends ever. Come on, we'll get me Mammy and the guards. They went home to Tumi Vara and they got Mammy who rang Temple Moor and the guards came straight away. And when they got to the Goddy Moor's house, they got all the treasure and gave it back to the people he'd stolen it from. And as for the house, the guard says, Tig and your friends, she might as well have this house for a reward. And so Tig and his mother and his friends, they went all back to the forest of Hulla on Trouble, where they never had any trouble, but invited all their friends to visit and have the best fun ever. The rat jumped in behind the cat, the cat jumped in behind the sow, the sow jumped in behind the cow, the cow jumped in behind the mammy, the mammy jumped in behind the boy. And away they went to their new house. They went up the hill, down again, through bushes and rushes and over the glen, walking along, singing a song. Tai Gomara from Tumivara never did no wrong. Mm -hmm.